Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for choosing WIS News in Midday. I'm meteorologist Chandler Jordan out of our first alert weather center. And if you've already spent time outside this morning or even so far this afternoon, you'll know just how hot and just how humid it is across the Midlands right now. And as we look out from our downtown tower camera, you can see just some fair weather clouds out there. Air temperature 93. You factor in our dew point of 75, which is what we use to measure the amount of moisture in the atmosphere, which helps with our humidity. Feels as hot as 104 right now. And all across the Midlands, many of us have tapped into the triple digits for how hot it feels out there right now. That includes Orangeburg, where it feels as hot as 109, feels like a toasty 109 in Sumter. Very hot right now in Lancaster. Also feels like 107 degrees, and that's exactly why our friends at the National Weather Service issued this heat advisory all across the Midlands for all of these counties that you see in orange, and that's through pretty much the rest of our daytime hours for feels like temperatures that are going to hang in the triple digits. And you'll see that on our first alert Saturday, satellite and radar. We're not talking about widespread cloud cover or showers to help us cool off. A couple of those have bubbled up near the state line near Florence, but for the most part right now, pretty much dry. And I think almost all of us today are going to stay dry through the rest of the afternoon. Now closer to four o'clock, there will be a couple of isolated showers and storms that bubble up out there. Otherwise, though, still dry for many of us. Our air temperature makes a run at the triple digits today. We will fall short of that, but it doesn't matter with the humidity that we have. It feels just like it'd be anywhere from 110, maybe even as high as 111 or 112. Here's first alert future cast. First alert weather day in place for the possible for the heat and humidity that continues through the the afternoon and then we get closer to the four o'clock hour. See how Futurecast has a couple of these bubble up showers and storms, but activity very limited. And for a good portion of the Midlands, we are dry through the rest of the afternoon and into the evening. Now through the overnight hours, there could be a stray shower or thunderstorm here and there. I think tomorrow morning, most if not all of us dry as you head out the door, very warm, very humid very muggy temperatures at that point in the upper 70s. And then we get this cold front to drop into the region with it. Notice how showers and a couple of thunderstorms start to fire up near the four and five o'clock hour. And with it, we get some relief as this cold front blows through. It'll spark up scattered showers and thunderstorms through the afternoon and evening on Tuesday. And then by the time we go to bed on Tuesday night, we'll start to dry out. Clouds are hanging around, but it will be a lot cooler once we get rid of this cold front. And with the forcing and amount of moisture and energy available just because of how hot and humid it is out there, one or two of these thunderstorms that fire up tomorrow along the cold front will have the opportunity to produce some gusty winds of 40 to 60 miles per hour. There could be some small hail and the strongest of storms will definitely have some heavier pockets of rain as well as some frequent lightning, but we'll be grateful for the cool down that we get once this cold front blows through, especially for Wednesday, Thursday. Check it out. We're back down to around 90 degrees for our high temperature those days. And then as we head into this upcoming weekend, looks pretty good Friday, mid 90s, mostly sunny skies, mid 90s Saturday. And then our pattern stays August like as we head into next week. Intisar.